Was it just a lapse in concentration, Bernie? Well, hard to tell, Sandy. Well, I suppose we'll know shortly, but uh, they really need to work harder across half-back to keep that ball in the forward line. So here we go. Start of the second quarter at Prince's Park. The Lions hold a 20-point lead after three late goals in the first quarter. Baldwin ridden into the ground, and Jason Baldwin will take it just forward of centre. Likes to get things moving. Will go long and direct. Straight down the middle. Reynolds in front. Couldn't complete the mark. Gale. Liberatore there also. Could have been some holding on going the way of the dogs, but play on was the caller. Stanford gets a hurry kick back towards the centre wing. And the mark is taken by Matthew Croft. Right on centre wing, Croft. This kick is off the side of the boot, however. Towards the 50 metre line. Caven beats Coleman. Goes back towards centre wing once again. Wallace taken out of it. His hand pass was for Barry Stanfield, but he's taken over the line. So a throw in still really on centre wing. 20 points the difference. Wind in front. Roderick got it behind. Away to wind. Boots it down towards the 50 metre line. Clears everybody except this man Mansfield, who then lost it. Going in solidly was Hunter. On all fours, Armstrong. Mansfield dives on top of it with courage. Gale emerges with the ball and has it knocked away. Liberatore does well at close quarters to Hunter. Hunter's probing kicked out towards half forward. Back goes Roos, dropped the mark. Now the door is open. McPherson to Atkins. He runs down towards the 50. Delray on the lead. One error. A goal could result. Danny Del Rey, strong hands that time because Zanotti was right there with him, shoulder to shoulder. But the Footscray forward claimed the mark. Unusual for, for Paul Roos to drop that mark. It looked like a uh, pretty straightforward attempt to take that mark there from the Fitzroy skipper. Danny Del Rey starting today, 109 goals and 47 appearances. And he slides this one across the face. Unlike him, although he hasn't had a good conversion rate this year, he's got seven goals, seven now, so far this season. Here's Caven, the left footer, close to being outside the square when he kicked that one, and this time, Bruce is able to take the mark, plays on. See camp up the ground. He's on the wing. He centers the ball. McCarthy's the target. Up he goes in front. It falls behind Dunstan. Golden opportunity. One bounce. He settles. Oh, that's a shocker. Well, beautiful <laughs> pass. He found Gale. And Gale goes short and finds Broderick. <laughs> well, they've got the goal surrounded now. And Broderick almost directly in front. Well, Dunstan took plenty of time. He did the right thing. He settled. Somehow, he fluffed it across the face. Well, there is conjecture. Sandy seems to think it was a pass. He's the player's commentator. <laughs> Here's Broderick. A chance to convert. Stabs at Goldwood and puts it through, I fancy. His first. And the margin gets greater. Puts Gray in danger now. They need to stay in touch. Yes, the kick from Delray at the other end of the ground was ordinary. He didn't allow for the breeze. See this play into the forward line over the head of McCarthy. Dunstan doing the backing up. No pressure coming from the Fitzroy def uh, Footscray defenders. Uh, that is an ordinary kick from Dunstan. But fortunately, Michael Gale summed up the situation and passed quickly to Broderick. Paul Broderick has his first goal. Liberatore and Atkins combined for Footscray out of the centre, but only as far as Jimmy Wine, who was tripped. Advantage is going to be paid. This allows Marcus Seacamp. Gale comes storming out. Oh, I think he's been collected, Sandy. He collided. Well, Two he's, players. Up. he's up. Two players injured. I think the player there. They're coming from everywhere. Oh, this is nasty. Well, Matthew Armstrong. Michael Gale's okay. Matthew no Armstrong was going to have a go at the guy on the ground who was holding his shoulder. Who was it? Bruno Tui, it may have been. Tui or Krediuk, is it? Maybe Credio, you're right. You're right there. Yeah. Steve Credio, the Critty player up. that came in late there. I think he's been recorded. 
Dennis Rich just uh, having a look at Michael Gale's number. But he's OK, Michael Gale. It seems that uh, Krediuk has a problem with that left shoulder. Well, Armstrong was absolutely incensed. He made a beeline for the man on the ground. So Scott Wind, I think, had to go across and support his teammate. It doesn't look too good. And a 50-metre penalty be being applied here. Dennis Rich taking the Footscray defender probably right back onto the goal line. As Michael Gale did take that mark just about right on the 50 metre line. And Freddie may, uh, well, he seems to be okay now. Just testing that shoulder, but this is a certain goal to Gale. Gale gets the goal. His first and Fitzroy 7-5 lead Footscray 2-4. Well, the two early goals coming in this term, both to Fitzroy up the other end Danny Delroy from a, uh, a fairly straightforward set shot a 50 metre penalty there against Steve Prettyhook ensuring that that was a goal of the Lions and he's picking up John McCarthy pretty crude by Footscray play about to restart the umpires oh. will need to keep a watch on things now it's a centre square infringement Manson is getting the free Footscray had to get back in this game and quickly as Manson drives it down inside the attacking 50. Lynch was up, got hands to it, couldn't hang on. Freddie Hook gets a kick around the outer side. Colin Hook is there. He's surrounded. Fitzroy, very aggressive indeed. <laughs> Elliott to guard. Crashing through was Tui. He won't shirk it. Around the outer side he goes. Wrong foot's an opponent. Releases Kellett with a hand pass. Kellett inside Footscray's attacking 50. Too many Fitzroy players up. They get his second chance. Zanotti is taken high. Hawkins offending, and the free kick will go to Mark Zanotti. A lot of Footscray players having no influence on this game whatsoever at this stage. Zanotti towards the wing. Manson in best position. Takes the mark, plays on to Dundas. Dundas wants someone going past, and he's got Jeremy Gard. Floats it up to the half-forward line, but a little too far. Reynolds takes it across half-back. Where to go. This is a very important time for the Footscray Football Club, I would imagine. In the next quarter of an hour, Armstrong. Ball is bottled up in the middle. He'll go back to the young man, he'll take it from the centre. Footscray have got to settle down. They've got to play football and they've got to get the score on the board. Was Ruse being held? It's still on behind play. But we'll stay with the football. On the outer side of the ground, it's Matthew Armstrong. Left foot step pass into the centre, and Paul Broderick plays on. Broderick now up to half forward. Another one here is critical. Free kick. Well, Everything going the way of Fitzroy at the moment, and Lynch can kick this. Well, the difference at the moment, Sandy, the Fitzroy players are going for the ball and getting their first, putting their bodies in. The Footscray players getting their second, giving away the free kicks. Well, on the far wing when that fight was on, two Footscray players, one Fitzroy player. The bloke that got the ball was playing on Colin Hook. That was Dunstan who was in the fight. Lynch from directly in front. Is this another one? No. Now, the dogs have made a change. Ready or off. Yes, and coming on for his first game is Shane Allen. Steve McPherson, Steve Colin Hook. Two players that haven't had much influence on the game. They really should concentrate on getting the ball. This is uh, having a word or two with Dundas. But let's uh, continue on with the play. St. Allen, as we said, coming onto the ground. Oh, a nervous start by him as Bernard Tui sees it over the line. And, uh, it just didn't sit for Shane Allen. No. I'm very impressed with uh, him. He's been very good in the reserves. He gets some encouragement from Leon Cameron, another youngster. Wine, Jimmy Wine at the bottom of the pack. And again, Peter Cameron comes in to take charge. Freddie Hook, as we said, left the ground. What's his condition, uh, Ross? Sandy, just his left shoulder, that AC joint, uh, the one that does cause some problems. He may be able to come back on. Thank you. Manson and Wine again. One by the ladder with a nice left hand flick towards Baldwin. 
Off to wide through Broderick, back to Manson. Oh, cleverly done by Manson. The ball one who set sail for full forward. Lynch, what sort of a bounce? He's tucked on the boundary line. Oh, just a little too far, or alternatively not far enough for his teammate there in Armstrong. Keeps the ball in play, back to Baldwin, loses it, socket off the ground. McCarthy, 45 metres out, blast blindly at goal. And it goes out of bounds off the field. Well, the original play was poor from Alistair Lynch. He did the hard work getting around Keenan Reynolds. All he needed to do was a long hand pass to uh, Matthew Dundas in the square, a certain goal. Here's Bernard Tui then, 7-6 to 2-4. Footscray in deep trouble at the present time. Bright sunshine, the ball is on the half-back line for the Bulldogs. Down goes Hunter on his knees, he gets it out to Wallace. Hurried kick, hangs a long time in the air, and Jeremy Gard comes at the ball and takes a very good mark. Plays on immediately, slipping over with Stevens. Courageous effort there by Kellett. Chips it out wide, Collinook with some space. Down towards half-foot, Crofts in front. Closing was Ruse, but not in time. Croft. Plays on, forward of the wing. Boots it well inside the 50. Zanotti there with Delray. Zanotti first back, strong shepherd by guard. Zanotti boots to the other side and Dundas. Bounces obligingly for him. Goes looking for Stevens. Now he's in trouble. Brilliantly picked up. Tui was he in his back, not according to the umpire. And it will be thrown in. Well, the side who traded on enthusiasm last season can't match the enthusiasm of Fitzroy at the present time. In front, wind over the top, Manson. He's got a new lease of life. Right, Armstrong gets it across. Booted down by Dundas inside the attacking 50. Reynolds boots it back towards the half forward line for the Bulldogs. Over the ball, Collinook lacking support. He slaps it out. This is Atkins sending the dogs forward. They desperately need a score. But the bowl bounces favorably for Mark Zanotti. This time he gets his kick in time. Cameron chasing for the dogs. On centre wing is Leon Cameron. They have the numbers. Off to Wallace. Centering kick in towards half forward. And Liberatore takes the mark. They've added only one behind this quarter. Foot's great. Goes short again. And this time, the distance for Steve Collinook should not be a problem. Oh, he must kick this, though, Steve Collinook. Bad miss by Delray early in the match. The margin now out to 32 points. Finding some space in the forward line there, Steve Collinwood. One of the rare opportunities at the moment, Footscray. Here he goes. From 45 metres. Drop punt on its way. And he's put through a much needed goal for the Dogs. So Collinwood gets his first. And the Dogs first for the quarter, 3-4 plays 7-6. Well, that was a must goal for the uh, Bulldogs. And nothing's happened for them in this uh, second quarter. Their playmakers have been quiet. Cameron, who started in the first two games, has been down, as has Atkins. And across the centre line, they really need a lift from Steve Wallace, also Nigel Callett. And the half-forward line must work much harder to keep the ball in. Can the Dogs come back? It's a high kick, very high. Lynch, one of the flyers, couldn't take the mark. In fact, almost back to guard once again. Now Cameron trying to get into the game. Can't get the football out. Neither can Hawkins. Dennis Rich decides upon a bounce. Tony Liberatore wearing one for his efforts. Manson seemed to charge at mine then. Cameron through, Liberatore, hurry left foot kick over the centre. Seacamp sneaks away. Down towards the right half forward flank, Lynch and Atkins. Reynolds under pressure, but he gets the hand pass away. What can the dogs do? Atkins again. Now a chance for Keller. Still on the defensive side of centre wing. He drifts it into the middle. His target was Wallace, but he was edged out. Manson goes to ground. of him. Coleman is able to get clear. The dogs through Atkins towards Delray. What can he do? Up against Zanotti. Croft is there to give him assistance. He'll certainly need it. But it's taken over the line. The push out's been paid for Zanotti to take the, the free kick. 
So Del Rey right. leading far too wide there. Zanotti from the back pocket. Stevens out pointed. Line Wallace. Atkins, he's still outside 50. Now in towards the square. No mark taken. And again, it's Coven who's able to relieve the pressure. Out to Manson, who's tucked in the back pocket. The Dogs trying everything, but the Lions holding them at the moment. At the back of the pack, it's Stanfield. Hiking in towards half forward. And this time, Paul Roos, who was attempting to mark, is outpointed. And Reynolds will have a shot 45 metres out. Yes, Reynolds, uh, he does come down at times from full back. He was named not to play at full back, of course, but uh, Shane Allen was named there. But Reynolds is not a bad shot at goal. Normally. <laughs> Another behind to the Dogs. 3 5. Uh, is 7 6. Just over 12 minutes remaining. Well, Fitzroy have been terrific so far this afternoon. There's Caven, straight down the middle. Ruse in front, Hawkins from behind. Ruse emerges with the ball, boots it down towards centre half forward. In front, Lynch, knocking away Stanfield, who picks it up. Well done by the big defender. Over the top to Atkins, inside the centre square, runners to his left and right, feeds Kellett. Now Kellett storms down towards centre half forward, right on the 50. Probing kicks, and Nottie is getting back and got a fist to it. Zanotti started with the West Coast Eagles, then to Brisbane, and now with the Lions and doing a good job this afternoon. Caven has the ball. He finished third in the best and fairest with the Lions last year. Only a young man, less than 40 senior games. Terrible kick. Went for the spiral. Oh. Line dropped the mark. Now he's in trouble. The Brownlow medalist on his knees and tying it up is guard. Just inexplicable there from Scotty Wine, how he could drop that chest mark. So it bounced right on the 50. Manson and Wine are there. Wine gets it down. Atkins didn't have the ball. Wine slapped it away. That's Fitzroy's Wine. Kill it on his knees. Hawkins threw the ball, according to umpire Cameron. The umpires at the present time being pretty firm. This is Broderick at centre half back. Got it from Elliott. This is Armstrong on the wing. Goes down towards the pocket. Gale will lead back in the race. He read it best in the air. Now Gale couldn't control it. And the ball will be thrown in. With Fitzroy leading 7-6 to 3-6. Just under 11 minutes till half time. Wine coming in late. But wins it easily against uh, the shorter Stevens. Hawkins, a hurry kick under pressure. Finds Steve Wallace across half back. Wallace into the middle. Reynolds the fly. Oh, he got both hands to it too. Atkins waiting down in front. Long penetrating kick to Delray. Koyanuk. At full forward. That was a dangerous pass, Sandy, but uh, it came off Delray well within kicking distance. May have lost a little bit of confidence after that miss earlier in the quarter. Uh, Steve Collin you at full stretch did very well to convert that almost strong got 50, chest mark almost got 50 too burn not that it counts much in distance but the 50 changes the angle this is to make the margin 18 points and he's done it both goals for Footscray coming in this quarter to Steve Collin he did it very cleverly there on that occasion Snuck around the mark. He's a very good kick on his left boot, Steve Collingwood. We should see this in replay. Delray taking the mark about 40 metres from goal. He didn't waste time. He looked around cleverly. But Collingwood, a fair bit of pressure there in the end, coming from Morish. Two goals to Steve Collingwood this quarter. And the Dogs starting to bark again. Baldwin picks it up. Gave it out to Armstrong. Put him under pressure. Atkins likewise. Wallace gets a cruel bounce. Mansfield favourable. Towards full forward. Can the Lions answer? Alistair Lynch certainly hopes so. 
30 metres out, almost directly in front. That's the only question, of course, with Lynch. And his kicking is not all that accurate. I think he kicked about 1-5 in the Foster's Cup game against Footscray. Then shut the back there over the top of Stanfield. Well judged, Mark. This for his second. Straight through the middle. The Lions answer. Two goals, two now to Alistair Lynch. Lined up at full forward. He's been there all through the match. Keenan Reynolds was his original opponent. He is now playing on the forward line. Barry Stanfield picking up Alistair Lynch. Bernard Tui on Brett Stevens. And Shane Allen, the first game of picking up John McCarthy. Here's that mark again, Alistair Lynch. Excellent judgment. Not easy to take marks at that end of the ground with the sun as it is positioned. So the margin 24 points. It was 20 points at quarter time. Timely goal, that one for Fitzroy. Because Footscray were enjoying their best passage in this game. They dominated for about 10 minutes. This is Manson. Caught at the centre circle. Kicks inside the 50. Gale stayed on his feet. Standing his ground in front was Hawkins. Eventually clearing the zone is McPherson towards the wing and Wallace. But there's a shepherd off the ball against Collinor. Yeah, good decision too, Dennis. Guard plays on immediately. Broderick running towards half forward, long towards full forward. Off hands, an opportunity for Ruse behind. Now Hawkins did well. Still a loose ball. Dunstan. Not quite. A behind. Paul Ruse, last season's best and fairest. He's done that four times. On the forward line for Fitzroy at the present time as Hunter comes away. Towards the wing, Morris in from the side, it falls behind a Croft, keeps it in front, tries to go off the ground and missed it, taken by Wine, but into the path of Atkins, clever hand pass across to Reynolds, Colinook is on in the middle, he ignores that and kicks it behind, and Colinook looks admonishingly at his teammate, Colinook was 25 metres in the clear. Peter Caven in the hands of the trainers, not good news for Fitzroy. As Zanotti prepares to bring the ball back into play. Just over seven minutes remaining in the first half. Although Zanotti is unsure where to go. Eventually he elects the outer side. But no. Taken by Elliot. Now guard. Jeremy Guard. Over the middle he goes. Big pack of players. And eventually over the line. Alistair Lynch and John McCarthy each have two goals for Fitzroy. Steve Kolyanov has been the dog's main contributor. Wine wins it with a delicate right-handed flick. Can't take it away, however. Again, it's earlier. Now Dunstan. Gets on with the business, the youngster Dunstan. He wants uh, Wine. Couldn't take it at the back. Lynch, that was his initial target. Lynch shrugs the tackle. Heads for home. Far enough in another behind. Eight eight plays four seven. Sixteen scoring shots to eleven. Hunter. Shepherding by Wallace is effective. Ellen takes it, goes towards Croft. Remarks at centre wing. Coleman's his man. Trying to do it from behind. He could see camp court. Ball spills free, but it's too high. The advantage is paid to Fitzroy. And getting him out of trouble will be guard as he drifts oh. play into the middle. A couple of them fly. Ellen court. Ball spills free. Now McPherson tries to shrug one tackle. Caught by Dundas at the other. Back it comes to Cameron. He's still in the middle. Footscray trying desperately to get a score on the board. Hawkins on the outer side of the ground. Juggling, dodging and weaving. He's lost it. He threw it. One hand of hand pass there. Dougie Hawkins not having a good day. Armstrong towards half forward. Constant missed it in front, but runs back around the pack and picks it up about 35 metres out from goal. Snaps right across the face. Out of bounds on the full. Eight, eight plays, four, seven. We're on 
Cameron just six possessions so far in this game. He came in after two, averaging 30 possessions a game for the Dogs. McPherson running out of space. He got it from Wallace. Holding the ball, says the umpire. Gee, that's pretty tough. I thought he was across the boundary. I thought he lost it in the tackle as well. There goes the short one down towards Lynch. Getting a timely hand in there was wide. It took a deflection and bounced off the shoulder of Lynch and went out of bounds. Well, he may probably made no attempt there, just looking at that in replay. Maybe it was a good decision by the umpire because Steve McPherson just threw his arms out when he was tackled. Liberatore cleverly. Cameron. Now he sets Mansfield a task out there. Mansfield gets an obliging bounce. No one to kick to. He goes for the boundary. And that was pretty heady football because Baldwin was the only man down the ground. So Mansfield making the best of a tight situation. There's our scoreline. And the time remaining till half time. Roderick over the top. Baldwin still finishes up with the ball. Goes with the right foot inside the attacking 50. Going the ground was Tui. It's coming back and it's going to be a free kick to Tui, I fancy. Or is it McPherson? McPherson's got the ball up from the back pocket. Too high. Is the ruling by the umpire. Norman is target. He's under plenty of pressure and the ball goes over the line. This first half has belonged to Fitzroy. Wine. And again getting a hand to it. Lupatore who's uh, who ripped away illegally. And he'll take it. Quickly on with the job goes Lupatore. Down towards Coleman again. He runs out of room. He's going to be given a uh, free kick. Glenn Coleman to half forward. Reynolds trying to do the work from behind. Is that a throw? No, said the umpire. And he allows play to go on. Back towards the middle. Ellen trying to use the body. Gale is there. Pushing back in towards the centre. Jason Baldwin, a chance if he can pick it up. He's still going Baldwin. Under pressure. Gets a kick but straight to Wallace. Off to wide. Now Atkins. Puts Gray with a chance. Atkins low kick in towards full four. The only one there, and he read it better than anyone. Was Marks and on it. He's done a very good job at full back on Danny Delray, although the ball hasn't come into the forward line all that well for the forwards. Zanotti to the outer side. Guard was his target. He's got to apply the tackle on Keller. Back over 50 once more. Time ticking away for Footscray in this first half. Ruse ripped off the football. He manages to get it out towards guard, however. Good heavy work going on. That was Elliot. Now Footscray, another chance. Atkins on the end of the hand pass. This time he decides to go long. And again. Mark Zanotti. Talked about that delivery into the forward line, Sandy. That was uh, very ordinary. Here's Caven with the ball. Now, Satori is on, and I think that Robert Shaw is looking to get a mismatch on the forward line. Tui is on Satori. Meantime, the ball is on the wing. Wide. Mansfield dragged off it. This is Wallace. Well done. Cameron thought about the hand pass. Now he goes to Croft, just outside the 50. Good-looking kick, just swinging away left to right. And a behind. Under two minutes till half time. The margin is four goals. Stevens and Matthews on the bench. Ruse, awkward one. Back he goes to the man who kicked it in. That's Zanotti. Zanotti forced to boot towards the outer side. Baldwin shoulder to shoulder out there with Hunter. But in front, Colin Hook did well. This is Coleman. Coleman on the wing. Squares it for Croft. Not the worst of their players. Difficult positions in a half forward. He's tried hard. He's presented himself. He's had quite a few possessions. Croft goes for distance. It floats to the pocket. Reynolds up in front. Hooking it away from him was Morrish. Ball is out of bounds. Another change by the Lions. Michael Gale off. And Ashley Matthews on for his first run. So just over the minute till half time. Wine. Hooks it wide. Roos. Too slick for guard. On his knees, he slaps it out wide. Seacamp, tackled by Liberatore. Kept it going the Lions' way. This is Elliott. Elliott towards the middle and Matthews from behind Mansfield. It runs free. McPherson comes to meet it. McPherson with dash through the middle. Back towards half forward. Reynolds meters in the clear. Props, kicks, misses. He's kicked three points. They're coming in this second quarter too. 
plays 8-8. Eight, eight. That would have been so handy. With under half a minute remaining in his first half guard. On the outer side. Coleman. With him is Roos. Plenty of experience between those two. Roos is the victor on this occasion. He's paddling it out towards Baldwin. And they got time before the siren sounds. Up towards full four they go. Lynch is the flyer from the side. Couldn't take the mark. Could have been some holding on there. Dennis Rich says no. Play on. And there's the siren as Leon Cameron tries to sneak away. It's half time here at Prince's Park. But the honours certainly at the moment with Fitzroy. They kick the first goal of the day. Then the dogs came back. But in that second quarter, Fitzroy have steadied to give Terry Wheeler plenty to think about at the long break. So the score at half time, Fitzroy, 8 8 56. They added 3 3 that term. Footscray, a 4 9 33.